So you want to learn the 90 degree push up. No wonder. It's definitely one of the coolest looking calisthenic skills and possibly also the ultimate body weight pushing exercise. Up will be your next natural step after attaining the freestanding handstand push-up. But I got some good news for you because you don't need to have mastered the freestanding handstand push-up in order to start preparing for the 90 degree push-up and to benefit from all of the progressions leading to the 90 degree push-up. I would actually go as far as to say that I owe most of my pushing strength and physique from training towards and developing further the 90 degree handstand push-up. So what is a 90 degree push-up? Starting from a handstand position, you go down with your head while lowering your body eventually to a horizontal position. In other words, we push our whole body 90 degrees up and down. So this means that in the bottom half of the move, we need max force from our pecs and from our front delts. While in the second part of the move, the second half, we get to include more of the side delts and the triceps as well as the trapezius. You can do a 90 degree push up both on parallel bars and on the floor. Given that we are basically working two different planes here, the horizontal push and the vertical push, I think the best strategy would be to divide and conquer. To build up strength isolated in both planes, both the horizontal and the vertical push, and then using technical drills to eventually merge them together into the final move, which is the 90 degree push up. Now let's start with the horizontal approach. Basically starting in a push-up, which will sort of be our first step towards the horizontal pushing skill or pushing strength. We eventually want to lean further forwards. And the further forwards we lean, the more difficult it gets. Now I recommend using an indicator to measure your lean so that you can progressively make this move harder as you get stronger. And using the wall is an excellent way of measuring your lean. You can use your hand and finger width to measure the distance away from the wall that you place your hands and then make sure when you're doing these push-ups that your head is against the wall at all times. Once you get strong enough, you should try experimenting with leaning into a half lay bent arm planche position, which is easiest accessible through a knee assisted position. Now, as soon as you're strong enough to hold these bent arm planche positions, you should start doing what I like to call pseudo planche levitation push-ups. First with an open half lay position, then a straddle position and eventually in a full position. Now if you can do these full position pseudo planche levitation push-ups, you should actually be strong enough to do the 90 degree push-up given that you have a very decent deep handstand push-up, which we will get back to but you can still develop your horizontal pushing game to higher levels. You can start experimenting with tuck planche push-ups and eventually start moving towards more advanced planche push-up variations. You can use bands to achieve this, there are many ways. And I think this is a topic best served in a standalone video. Now let's move on to the vertical pushing approach. The vertical strength needed will be that of a deep handstand push-up. For the handstand push-up, I already have a tutorial as well as a complete program and several workouts in my app, both of which I will link in the description. It's rather obvious that we need to learn the handstand push-up before we will be able to do a 90 degree push-up. So once you're able to do a freestanding handstand push-up, it's all about progressively increasing the difficulty of the handstand push-up by making it deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Our goal will eventually to be able to do this chest down or a full range of motion freestanding handstand push-up. I definitely do recommend you supplement the freestanding handstand push-up training with wall assisted drills both facing the wall and back to wall. And you can do deep variations of these as well. But I will not go more into detail about the handstand push-up part because I already have a tutorial and a program on it so you can check that out if you want. 
Let's move on to the technical part. The 90 degree push-up is a very technical exercise and we do need a lot of technical practice in order to finally master this skill. And I just want to mention that most of these technical drills should be reserved for after you have mastered the freestanding handstand push-up. If you haven't mastered it yet, you can consider technical drills for the handstand push-ups instead of this. I would also recommend that you start your workouts with the technical drills, especially because they're also very strength demanding, especially these ones towards the 90 degree push-up. First technical drills towards 90 degree push-up will be to do negative rollouts or negative 90 degree push-up rollouts you're basically not stopping in the lower position. And you can do this for both the straddle position, which is where you want to start. Then you want to move on to the straddle position and eventually the full position. Once you sort of get the hang of this range of motion that we're working on towards 90 degree push-up, you want to try and stop in the bottom position. Also starting with the half lay position and you're still doing negatives, so you're basically from a handstand position going down to a bent arm planche position, and then you're letting go and jumping up into a handstand again. And like I said, as you get stronger, you develop this from a half lay position to a straddle position, and then eventually a full position. You could also do a closed leg half lay position, which will sort of be in between the straddle and the full position. So after getting familiar with these drills and gaining strength here, we both have awareness in the range of motion that the 90 degree push-up uses, and we have the strength in the bottom position we need. So now we want to move on to assisting the concentric phase, which is pushing up again. So we're gonna use momentum to roll up and help us get up to a handstand position. And then we're gonna lower down negatively slowly like in the previous progressions. Again, starting with a half lay position, then moving on to a straddle position and eventually a closed leg half lay position and a full position. In all of these drills, we focus on having a controlled and slow eccentric phase when we're going down and then we're sort of rolling up and using momentum to help ourselves going up again in the concentric phase. We also want to try and build up some repetitions in each of these progressions before moving on to the next. But in some cases, the difference might actually be as big as you think. In many cases, it's all about gaining awareness and learning to activate the right muscles. And I think compared to exercises like the planche, moving along these different progressions in the progression ladder will be much quicker for the 90 degree push-up. And eventually you will be strong enough and have awareness and technique enough to try and do a half lay 90 degree push-up. And from here, you know the drill. <laughs> you move on to the straddle position, then perhaps the close leg half lay position or just straight to the full position. And there you have it the 90 degree push-up. Now, after mastering this, you can even take it even further. You can experiment with different grips, such as supinated grip. You can try doing it on the rings. You can do them deeper. There are so many ways you can make this even more difficult and keep developing strength-wise, because in order to get stronger, we need to progressively overload our muscles. A complete 90 degree push-up program is now available in my app, as well as programs and workouts for many other skills. So be sure to check that out if you want a structured way of approaching skills like the 90 degree push-up or handstands or any other body weight strength related skill or even acrobatics, which I have started introducing programs for in my app. So that was it for today. Be sure to check out my tutorial for the handstand push-up, which is right here. Or you can check out my playlist with other body weight and handstand related tutorials right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.